chilled mountain air blew against my face, a welcome sensation after a day of hiking in the sweltering heat. I didn't need a bath, as body odor or grosser bodily functions hadn't been programmed into Overworld Online. However, that didn't mean a tub of hot water didn't sound lovely right then. A hurried march through the mountains hadn't been anywhere on my list of wants or needs after surviving the trials of the first player's tomb. With that thought, I reached down to my waist. I wrapped my fingers around the grip of the artifact that hung there. The first player's sword, or just the sword. The smooth brown leather grip of the longsword felt warm and comfortable in my hand. The magical blade thrummed with restrained power that sent goosebumps from my wrist to my shoulder. It took a conscious effort to release my grip and try to ignore the sword's presence on my hip. Yet, with all its power and prestige, I had to question whether it had been worth everything we'd gone through to recover it. After all, we had lost my first true friend and mentor in this game, Lemurak. There was no way I would be where I was now without his tireless tutelage and trustworthy guidance. As I walked, I realized how much I would miss his leadership and friendship. He'd be able to jack back into OWO in a day, but it would be months before he leveled up enough to catch up with us. The OZ for Gygax had some weird rules around respawning that seemed arbitrary and unfair to me. For example, any time your character died in Overworld Online, you were automatically logged out of the system and couldn't log back in for 48 hours. You generally had two options if your character was slain anywhere except the OZ. For just the standard connection charge of 1,000 crypts, you could wipe your character and start over at level zero. If you didn't want to lose all your progress, you could pay a higher fee, proportionate to your level. Your existing character would be respawned by an NPC cleric at the nearest cemetery. The cost increased based on your level, and above level 10, the respawn also came with some temporary debuffs. Sometimes, worst of all, you dropped all the gear and half the coins you were carrying at death. When you respawned, it would be with cheap-ass starter gear, but the rest of your character was saved. High-level spells could revive a fallen character on the battlefield, but they were expensive and not without drawbacks. However, none of that mattered when you died in the OZ. Then, you had no options. It was an automatic wipe of your character to start over at level zero in 48 hours. Lemurak had fallen in the OZ. He would be eligible to start all over from scratch in about a day. Meanwhile, the timer was running down on a required departure from the valley. While I'd slept the previous night, the computer program I knew as the doctor had paid me another visit. He'd arranged a quick face-to-face -face with Lemurak. I had been glad for the time. However, there was no chance of the rest of the party even meeting up to say goodbye. All right, from what I remember, the border of the OZ is just around that bend. Maka pointed up the narrow mountain path that we followed all morning and into the afternoon. Maka, level five monk of the Stalking Tiger Way, High Elf. Titles, Champion of the First Player's Tomb, Goblin Slayer, Orc Slayer. More. Conditions, Alert, Channeled Key. Of our entire party, Maka was the only one of us who had ever left the OZ. She'd had three previous jack-ins, but she'd died after leaving the valley each time, and hadn't been able to afford the steeper inmate respawn fees. There should be a little wide spot in the trail where we can scope things out. We'll be sitting ducks if any PKers are waiting to pick us off, Bolton said, dour as usual. Especially after that global announcement that Z has the sword. Bolton Glittertooth, level 5 sorcerer, dragonkin. Titles. Champion of the First Player's Tomb, Spell Slinger, Boom Mage, Goblin Slayer. Conditions, Mana Cycle, Contingency Spell. That's why we came this way, Elias patiently reminded him for about the gazillionth time. I glanced at the handle over his head as the cleric continued to soothe Bolton's grumps. Brother Elias Stonetree, Level 5 Cleric of Healing, Half Elf, Titles, Champion of the First Player's Tomb. Adept Healer, Goblin Slayer, More, Conditions, Alert, Mana Cycle, Enduring Faith. It's not the most popular route out of the OZ, much less likely anyone sees us with a sore- Stop! At my sudden outburst, our party came to an unexpected halt on the path. 